So let's talk more about those regions that the flash descriptor describes. So region zero is the flash descriptor itself, region one, the BIOS, two, the Intel management engine, etc. Now these region numbers do not correspond to what order they have to take inside of the spy flash chip. It's just the order that Intel added them. And there's also more bits available so that they can add more things in the future. And like I said before, platform data region didn't exist prior to the ICH9 and the embedded controller region didn't exist prior to the 100 series chipset. Now, previously, the description of how exactly the flash descriptor was laid out was provided in IO controller hub data sheets. But unfortunately, over time, those have moved into the spy programming guides for a given chunk of hardware. So those are named like, you know, the Skylake spy programming guide, Haswell spy programming guide. But unfortunately, those documents are Intel confidential. So the information still exists out there. And if you want to, you know, sign an NDA, you can go get that and read that. Or it turns out that, you know, of course, over time, these sort of documents leak out onto the internet, and then you can just read it there too. Nothing about the particulars of the security provided by this mechanism has anything to do with the secrecy. I think it's just the typical Intel thing that uh, documentation is proprietary and NDA until absolutely necessary. So throughout the next sections, we're going to be using the ICH10 last sort of public documentation of how these work, and it's accurate enough for our purposes of understanding how these are laid out. There was a brief reference to this before when I showed you a picture of, you know, four chunks of memory all showing the same information. And that is the fact that at the base of the data structure is a signature. It's not a digital signature in the security sense. It's just a byte signature in the sense of the hardware is going to read the base and it's going to see, is it this value? If it is, it expects that this is going to be running in descriptor mode and the hardware reads and parses all this various stuff. And if that signature is invalid, then it'll fall back to non-descriptor mode on those things that support it, and otherwise it's just not going to work. Additionally, the start of this entry has actually moved to offset 10 in the flash chip rather than offset 0 on future hardware. So this is a little bit about the evolution of the thing because we can still find this sort of picture in some of the data sheets, just not the description of the internal registers. So if the ICH looked like this and it had you know, this uppermost portion called 256 bytes of OEM section. Well, the subsequent documentation just called it the OEM section, but this is just me letting you know it's still 256 bytes. There was a portion called the VSCC table, and that has changed to being named the Management Engine VSCC table. And then, like I said, the signature has moved to offset 10 instead of offset 0, where it used to exist. Furthermore, I briefly mentioned the concept of soft straps before and how they are a way to reconfigure the hardware without having to actually pull some particular pin up to a high voltage or down to a low voltage. And so this MCH ICH straps that existed in a Northbridge Southbridge sort of world has turned into the PCH straps on the PCH systems. Now, despite the fact that we don't have the detailed description of these data structures available in the public, there is a little bit of elf magic that you should know about. So we said that the PCH or ICH hardware actually reads and parses this data structure. And so it will actually take some of these elements out of these fields and map them into memory at various registers so we can inspect them there instead. And those registers are generally documented in the data sheets. So, elf magic, boot time, the hardware reads from the flash chip at offset zero, parses the data structures, and it maps some of those into the spy bar, spy bar region. Similarly, on the newer hardware, same thing into the spy bar region. So, the FL reg and F reg are two things we would see references to. Specifically, the F reg is the memory mapped copy of this. This is going to be documented in the data sheets somewhere in the spy bar region and it'll have things like, you know, the region base and the region limit. And these values are pulled from the flash descriptor on the flash chip. They are read only, as it says right here, read only, read only. And as it says right here, the value in this register is loaded from the contents in the flash descriptor, FL reg zero region dot uh, region base. So the basic point is the hardware pulls values out of this and maps them into memory. So if you really need to see some of these, they are exposed in memory.